tonight on the internet, we ask, can you dip it? Welcome to Goodnight Internet, the internet show that talks about all the things that are happening tonight. How you doing, Aaron? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm actually quite thirsty and quite hungry. Yeah, the is, same, actually. Which yeah. is a great coincidence, because tonight we're going to be asking, can you dip it? We're going to take a look at some different biscuits. Oh, what other biscuit? And we're going to rate them on how well they dip in a delicious cup of British tea. Num, Cheers. Num, num, num. Oh. Sorry, it's a stupidly large mug for my tiny, tiny wrists. Hmm. British tea, for me to drink. <laughs> as we all know, stolen from India. Yes. Uh, so we, uh, we've we been hunting the byways and highways of the internet, and we found a very important quiz on BuzzFeed, where they're asking what kind of biscuit dips best. Is it dip? I would dunk a biscuit. I was going to say dip a biscuit sort of implies you just like, beep. That's it. So a dunk, what's it's a like, dunk? Dunk's like a proper, you, you want the tea in the biscuit. Mm. So when we get some biscuits, some actual real life biscuits, no expense spared, we will demonstrate a dip versus a dunk. Yeah. And uh, that'll be fun. Okay, so you're going to be rating these biscuits on a scale of one to ten. Okay. Zero, zero to ten, if you if takes your fancy. Ooh. Okay, can we, um, can we use negative integers? No, okay. zero to ten. Yeah, you're basically going to be rating these on how effective they are to dunk and also then to eat. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. first up, we have the classic, the rich tea. Oh. Uh, the exact opposite biscuit to the poverty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, it it's is. It's right, isn't it? <laughs> I thought that earlier. That's quite good. You know, right. I was laughing to myself before yeah. we started recording. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, so the rich tea. Um, I don't know much about rich tea biscuits. Why are they called... A... <sighs> so, Richard McVitty okay. had a cup of tea by his side one day. Okay. And was desperate for a biscuit that he could dip in his tea. Okay. So it is Rich Richard's tea biscuit. Okay. It's just been shortened because it couldn't fit it on the actual biscuit. Because, I mean, look at the size of that. You, there's no way you could put Richard's tea biscuit on all over it. Yeah, no, that's good. Especially that's good. Richard McVitie's tea biscuit because he was a pompous man. So that that's great because, you know, we're not just about fun here. We are all about the education. Let's, uh, let's go for this uh, dip versus dunk then. Okay. So... Are you saying that that's kind of a dip? Yeah. So a dip. Let's give it a touch. A dip, actually. Like if you have like salsa dip or you dip something in, I don't know, hummus, show my class here, um, you'd kind of scoop, wouldn't you? A dip indicates a scoop. Whereas a dunk is kind of like you kind of waterboard in the biscuit, aren't you? You're kind yeah. of immersing it. Torturing oh, God. The How? It's gone really soggy. <laughs> yeah, that's. Um, I dipped far too many times. Um, okay. Apologies. Sorry, you're pointing the microphone at me. Yes, yeah, so you're a slightly less disgusting man. Um, I don't like rich tea biscuits anyway. On I the, find them bland. On the yeah, on their own, they're, they're awful, um, terrible, terrible biscuits. But, but that was actually quite nice. I mean, how long do you dunk? I mean, how long would you dunk this biscuit for? Because as, like, as little as possible. That's that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. If you hold that now, in I'm any, getting nervous. Get it out because it's going to okay. explode. And look then... at, look <laughs> how floppy that <laughs> yeah. biscuit is. That's too much, isn't it? That's turned into a cookie. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that's... I might need a sick bucket. <laughs> is it? Is, that is that was, some of the fun of the rich tea biscuit in that you've got this this I, risk factor? I tell you what, this thing this thing is highly absorbent. And mm-hmm. um, it was almost like jelly when I put it in my mouth. It was quite it was quite an unusual texture. I think you should have a have a go. So just keep holding it till you want to take it out and then it's like it's like a game of chicken. Is that bendy? Oh yeah. yeah, that's got a got a hefty wobble to oh. it. I'm excited. It's quite it's quite odd, isn't it? <laughs> it's an unusual texture. Now I'm normally an overdunker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not with this. Oh, that, that texture's disgusting. Okay. Um, fa- do we have to eat the whole biscuit? No. Are we? Are we disposing? Of- You've eaten the whole thing. I'm hungry. Okay. Fine. If we're gonna, if we're gonna try and make this extreme. <laughs> I'm on a diet. There's so many calories on that plate. I can see it. It's the lightest biscuit of them all. It's the one you can safely eat all. 
Okay. I'm okay. not a fan, but I think the rich tea is the only biscuit I've come across, uh, and maybe until later on, that has to be dunked. Yeah, well, you cannot eat eat that on its own. No. It no. does soak up the tea flavour lovely. I think it does complement the tea very nicely. Yeah. It is terrible for dunking, though, because there is that split second longer, and it turns into this floppy, horrible jelly mess that then flops into the bottom of your tea yeah. mug. That, yeah. Yeah. I hate washing up a mug that's had like too many biscuits dunked in it. Yeah. It's gone all kind of grainy and slimy and sludgy at the bottom. Nim, 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 nim. It's it's unpleasant. Yeah. Like sediment. Okay, I think I'm going to give it a six. A six? I'm a giving six. it a three. A three? Yeah. So Which is actually better. I was prepared to give it a one when we started, but actually it wasn't too bad if it was just dipped rather than dunked. Possibly You could have used form. it in replacement of paper towels back in Victorian times. Yes, yeah, a bit of a spillage in the parlour. Yes, in fact, that's how they used to clean the streets after the horses had been uh, yes. on a John Day. It was uh, strewn with rich tea biscuits. <laughs> Which then the orphan children would eat. Yes, of course. Because that's that's the Victorian times for yeah. you. Uh, which we can look forward to once Brexit goes through. We can get back to the good Yay. old days. What's next? Next up, we have the chocolate digestive. Ooh, Ooh. not just any old digestive, a chocolate digestive. Ooh, I'm not sure about this one. So... <sighs> I'm a big, I'm a big fan of a chocolate digestive. Oh yeah, I love a chocolate digestive. Chocolate side up or chocolate side down though? In, what What do you mean? Do you eat it with that the chocolate side facing the roof of your mouth? Okay. Or the chocolate side facing your tongue? I. It goes in like that. Do it the other way around. That's the bottom because there's a curve. Yes. Now, now to me that makes sense, but, but I tried it the other way around. Yeah. And it tastes nicer because the chocolate goes directly onto your yes. tongue. I'm only realising this right now, and I feel like I've been I've been doing things <laughs> been wrong doomed. my entire yeah, life. Yeah, I felt exactly the same when I found out. I feel like it. you know, like if someone was to turn around and say, "Aaron, you've been sitting on the toilet the wrong way around your entire life." <laughs> yeah, like I've been riding like, it like a what? bull. Okay, let's 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 there. No. Right, let's not get into this again. Let's okay. let's dippy dunk these biscuits. Okay. Um, I now feel like I don't even know how to pick a biscuit up. This is this is completely throw myself confidence. Okay, the chocolate is actually kind of streaming off the top I like, of mine. I like it when the chocolate goes melty. Okay, that's all right. It's all right. Um, I'm going to try a bit undipped for contrast. Yeah, yeah, that seems wise. What's happened to that? So much of the chocolate's melted onto my finger, there's actually just biscuit left there. I'm, I'm worried for your future survival. You can't even eat a biscuit. Okay, I'm going for a full, a full, way too long dunk now. I think everything else is going to taste of chocolate. Oh, shiny on top. Glistening like an oil wreck. Mm. Oh. Oh, now that was good. I think... If you dunk it for long enough, it gets really good. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the normal dunk. No, the dip. Yeah, I don't feel yeah. like chocolate and tea really goes to, together all that well. No? No. I suppose you, you get mocha where you've got a chocolate and coffee. You wouldn't get chocolate tea. No. no, it just doesn't seem to work quite well. But when you dunk it for ages, yeah. you get more of the biscuity taste to help counteract that. And yeah, I think it works. Uh, what are we giving that? What are we giving it? That might go up to a seven for me. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give that. I'm going to give that a seven as well. Actually, mm. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, I'm glad I it went in my mouth. It. Um, I really enjoyed the um, the longer dunk as opposed to the dip. Oh, the biscuits are repeating on me. Biscuits. And um, which way round did you put your biscuit in your mouth? I can't remember. No, neither can I. To be honest. <laughs> Right, next biscuit. <laughs> so, very serious. So next up, we have the bourbon. Okay. Ah, French for chocolate. <laughs> Aaron and I once had an argument in a supermarket. Very for, loudly. For 30 minutes over whether the bourbon biscuit was French or not. Bourbon is French. No. So the bourbon biscuit is a British biscuit. Stolen from the French. Or, well, it's kind of based on a French <laughs> motif, hence the bourbon. Okay, so it's um, it's it's as French as chicken tikka masala is Indian. So it's British people trying to bring an element of class to something by 
culturally appropriating a foreign sounding word. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I win. <laughs> Are you a fan of the bourbon? Yeah, I do love a good bourbon biscuit. I, I can't eat a lot of them, but when I do, I do love them. It has to be okay. sort of a small smattering of bourbon. A small, like a, like a soup song of bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Un petit filou of bourbon. <laughs> Yes, well, I don't like bourbon biscuits. No, no. I actually genuinely saw the saw them on the plate and and went off. Oh, f- is it because they're French? I, no, I have nothing against the French. I wish them all the best in their current and future endeavours. Uh, I just, I just, I just don't like the bourbon biscuit. Yeah. It looks like it should be really chocolatey. Yeah, yet it's not, is it? No, and I quite like the fact no. that it's not that chocolate. It's more malty than it is chocolatey. Ooh. <coughs> Multi, yeah, that's like a good malt. word. Actually, maybe, maybe this will bring a new appreciation of the bourbon. Uh, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I know it's like synchronized free dips there. That was all right. <laughs> At an edge insight here. What do you think? It kind of goes from being okay to. Oh, that's a bit unpleasant. Oh, that's lovely again. I think when I get to the... I think the problem is, um, and we may experience this later with other biscuits, the heat doesn't penetrate the icing. Is that icing? What is it? It does if you hold it in for long enough. Oh, God, that was melty. That was proper melty. The What worries me is that if you hold it in long enough to melt the middle, that's get a consistent... Are you all right? Are you dying? <laughs> that, that was delicious. You look like you've just had a, a, a very intimate moment with that biscuit. Um, if you hold it in long enough for it to get warm in the middle, the outside is in danger of just falling apart. But I'm going to go for it. God. It was only is just... that melty enough? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit melty. Okay. Oh, yeah the, the, yeah. the sides are sliding apart. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it does explode. I've got to warn you about that. <laughs> that was a paste. The outside was just... I have no idea how it maintained its shape. It was... It's was, <laughs> it so like it remembered the shape and went, I will hold this for now. I've had drinks that were less wet than that. <laughs> uh, we need a score. It's not as good as digestive. Um, is I'll admit it's slightly better, I think, than, uh, than the rich tea. I'm, I'm going for a seven again, I okay. think, because... Because you're indecisive? Well, because like the bourbon, like the dege- chocolate digestive, the longer it was donked, the better it was. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give that a four. Ooh. It's better than the rich tea, but it ain't no chocolate digestive. Yeah, but you don't like bourbons, though, you freak. No, I don't. Jam. And I've chosen that as the hill that I will die on. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we have the fairer cousin of the bourbon, the custard cream. Oh, Ooh. now, now we're talking. I love a custard cream. Is this supposed to taste like custard? That is a very, very interesting point. Had I custard, I would... Compare the two. Yeah. Because I don't like custard. Can't stand the stuff, no. Is it, why not? Is it because you were raised badly by wolves? Yes. Okay. Well, sorry to bring um, that. Quite now, scary. It's very hot here under the lights. Yeah, they're already... And so, they're, it's already so I squidged it's already quite, and I've already pushed uh, yeah, them out the edges. Yeah, that was unpleasant. Um, <laughs> that, you only got that from the front, from the side. That was horrific. Uh, so... It, it just still doesn't taste like custard. I'm doing, I'm doing that thing we got taught in chemistry, where you don't sniff the substance directly. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's poisonous. You think you're fine. <laughs> you can't tell. Um, it smells more vanilla than yeah. custardy, but custard is vanilla flavoured generally. Apart from that weird pink custard you got at school. Have you used to eat the yeah. pink custard? No, I didn't eat it. It was on my plate until so it was forced down my throat, which might be the reason why I don't like custard. Who was waterboarding you with custard? <laughs> so we're going to dunk. Um, yeah. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Really... <laughs> I've gone mad. <laughs> Comes back for a second, go straight away. That that that's nice. Mm. Makes me want a vanilla tea, mm. a vanilla chai latte. So Ooh. the custard, we're going to call it inside. 
um, melt. It has a lower melting point than the bourbon biscuit, hence why it was melting and needed licking up before the bourbon. The bo- have, I ma- have I made it sad for you? What have you done? I overdunked. Ah, oh, dude. Um, how was it before you ruined it for yourself like an idiot? It was the most glorious thing I've put in my mouth in a while. Today, at least. Okay. Tonight? Yeah. It's the night time. Today. Tonight. Yeah. Keep well, up. I mean, you know. Tonight. Well, yeah, I've had put less in my mouth tonight. Okay. Yeah, What's no. the worst thing you put in your mouth tonight? Yeah, that, that paper towel. Okay. What's the worst thing you've ever seen dunked in a cup of tea? Because I'm, I'm probably going to make you feel a bit sick now. I went I've out... seen somebody put a dunk of breadstick in before now. Okay. Which isn't necessarily disgusting, but it was definitely odd. So I will see your breadstick and raise you and get ready for this. Soldiers of hot buttery toast. Oh, no. Really? The worst bit was the kind of the film of butter that formed across the surface of their cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love hot buttery toast. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the glorious, glorious things in existence. I enjoy a cup of tea. <coughs> I think it's required in order for me to stay within the country. But but the two combined, no, no. No. Okay. All right, uh, should we score those ones? Up? Oh, we're not scored it? Yeah. Oh, I already... I meant so to, eager. I mentally scored it and just assumed I'd said it out loud. Um, An eight, obviously. Oh, I was going up to a nine, I think, with that one. A nine? You enjoyed it more the the most? My favourite, favourite one so far. The problem you've got is you've not given yourself a lot of wiggle room for something to be better. So next up, we have the uh, Jammy Ring. Jammy Ring? Oh. Is that not a Jammy Dodger? Yeah, but it's off brand. It's off brand. (laughs) It's uh, not off, is it? Just off brand. <laughs> um, please like, share and subscribe so that we can afford proper biscuits and none of this knockoff tat. Thanks for the biscuits. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so you might not be... You might not be surprised to know I'm not a fan of the Jammy Dodger because it contains jam. What? Yes, yeah, yeah no, it wasn't um, a surprise to me at it's all. A, it's especially weird kind of jam because it's it's kind of jam that went to a hard school and had to toughen up for those um who have never seen one of these things um it contains jam in the middle uh, that is exposed to the air perhaps to help the hardening process yes and then there's generally like a little bit of jam but not quite as much as you'd think holding the two halves of the biscuit together yeah Are we ready yep okay three two one one two, two three. three oh That was really chewy. That was disgusting. Yeah, that wasn't good, was it? No. It you end up with soggy mush around a very chewy uh, centre, don't you? Yeah, and and jam and tea are not a good mix of flavours. No, no. So, what are we going to score this? A uh, one. A one. Yes. Okay, I'm thinking back. Okay, like, I'd put it in my mouth again if I had to, so it's not going to get in a zero, but... Yeah, I'm... I'm going in... Oh, it's coming down the bottom. Science, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, still floppy from the last one. What did I give a four to? It's been so long. Bourbon. The bourbon. It's better than a bourbon, actually. I going to have to get a five. Now Aaron's going to throw up. It's disgusting. <laughs> How could you bring such a thing in front of us? Well, for contrast... Okay. Next up, we have the gluten-free jammy ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe it was the gluten. So, Were these included in the same multi-pack of biscuits, or no, have these no, been they've been individual? Before we say anything mean about them, did you bake them? No. Did anyone you know bake them? No. Were they sourced from a shop? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Can I try a little bit before dunking in my tea? Sure. I'm like it. There's a lot more jam in the middle, but it doesn't seem to be quite as firm. I think it's just a ridge. It's tough. That's firm. Mm. That. But, <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit hard for my my taste, but it does remind me a little bit of um, OTs, mm. which I love. I'm not entirely against this. If I was a... You sound really surprised. Oh, well, yeah. It's been a revelation, mate. I, I've got a friend who's a celiac, and the, the food she has to eat is just misery-inducing. Yeah. She's, she's got nothing she could eat properly. Oh, bless her. Um, it's not good. But making, making herself ill, so... I think she'd be quite pleased with that, as if, if I was celiac, so would I be. 
To be honest, if you're not allowed to eat biscuits, any kind of biscuit-ish thing is going to be amazing, isn't it? Very true. Yeah. Right. Okay. I think that this is going to, this could hold up to a longer dunk because yeah. it is initially much drier. Yeah. There's more space for the fluid to get in. More science. One, two, three. I've immersed it a lot longer than you. Oh. That jam has a weird tang. That's real jam. Yeah? Mm. As opposed to the jam I've been hallucinating up until now. Yes. Okay. You looked actually like you were enjoying another intimate moment there. Okay. Real jam in tea is quite nice. Okay. Would you just add a spoonful, let it float on the top yeah, in amongst the butter? I think it would. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I'm not sure. The biscuit on its own, actually, was quite nice. In the tea, I thought it would be lovely. I thought it soaked yeah. up really well. Just kind of made it a bit more chewy and stocky. Yeah. I've realised you've given yourself more wiggle room in the middle than I have. Mm. Uh, it was better than the other Jammy Dodger. Yes, yeah. Um, by better, I mean more interesting. Uh, I'm going to give mine a six. I think I might be giving mine a four. A four? Yeah. Okay. So worse than the other Jammy Dodger? No, you gave that one, didn't I gave, you? Yeah, I gave that one. Yeah. I don't listen to you when you talk. Cool. So next up, um, as a bit of change of pace, we've got a savoury <laughs> savoury oat biscuit. A savoury oat biscuit. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because okay. it's a biscuit. So is this... Um, oh, what's the... Is it just an oat biscuit? Is it an oat... It's not an oat cake. This is kind of an oat cake, but it's classed as biscuit on the box. So yeah, yeah. A, an oat cake is thicker, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, and more Scottish, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That, that's quite. I just sniffed the microphone. Um, <laughs> mm. That's quite salty. It tastes delicious, but that's does definitely it dunk? very savoury. Okay. So does it dip? Does it dunk? It looks like it's going to fall apart. <laughs> it won't fit in my cup. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. I, I'm genuinely quite worried about this. You just straight in there, my brave soldier. <laughs> I think I know what that toast tastes like now. <laughs> oh. I think that... I think that, actually, the, the problem you've got there is you've got very sweet tea. I've got quite savoury tea. Have a dip in that. And I'm going to... We're cross-dipping now. <laughs> it won't fit still. <laughs> that made, I, I couldn't taste the difference. It made it perceptively slightly better. Mm. Mm. Like, I would, didn't, don't want to throw up this time, whereas last time... I'm not time, finishing that. Oh, God, no. No. Um... Why did I give the Chammy Dodger a one? It's not as good. It's not even as good as a rich tea. It, it's going. It's going to be a two from me. I think I'd still rather that than the Chammy Dodger. Really? As long as it was a non-sugared tea, I had. I'm really upset. So, two. Oh, okay. So <laughs> well, agreement. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. So last but oh. not least, um, staying with the savoury thing. Oh, wow. What are you doing to us? Why do you hate us? <laughs> we have the <laughs> so we have the cheese biscuit. Oh, <laughs> this might be the first time I throw up on camera. Uh, I've, I've took oh, the <laughs> smell of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cheesy. And normally I like cheese, but I'm just thinking about what I've got to do with this. That smells okay. just like feet. Okay, <laughs> straight in. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's fizzy. <laughs> oh, 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 that's that's interesting. It's got little holes in it, so it really absorbs the moisture. Aaron, yeah. this is the last one, isn't it? I think we need to finish it. <coughs> I really, no, no. I think I will throw up. <coughs> oh. 
Oh. That was, that was. Tell you what, it grows on you. It, no. it does. It does. Trust me. Go on. Go on. Who's a big brave boy? You're a big brave boy. Well done. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, that was unusual. Oh. So, it's a thinker, isn't it? No, it's not. That's an inf- it, it, is instantly it, a zero. Not even as good as the Jammy Dodger. No. My goodness. Um, I'm going to give that a two. <laughs> What? Hmm. You enjoyed that to yeah. s- some extent. I think the trick was to hold it in the liquid and have a little bit of a motion to remove some of the cheese from the biscuit and just got to deposit it in the tea where it can kind of get w- watered down a bit. There's just a hint of cheese. I don't trust your taste buds. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So uh, over to over to the crew. Okay, so uh, we're going to go in reverse order of your favourite biscuits for dipping or dunking. Okay. So in last place, we, <laughs> we have the cheese biscuit with a grand score of two. Wow, that's a shocking surprise. <laughs> Next up is the savoury oat biscuit that managed to score four. So we're definitely making a statement where we stand on the sweet versus savoury divide. Yep. Um, in next place is the jammy ring, which got a grand total of six. Because they're... <laughs> <laughs> and next up is the rich tea biscuit not living up to its name uh, with nine I mean that seems like a respectable score compared it's to the not others. too bad is it I mean it's not double figures no it's not but well going into double figures we have Ooh. we have the gluten free jammy ring with ten. Ooh. yep so gluten free is better than glutinous is that the word is that yep. the special name for your bum I don't know <laughs> <laughs> and with eleven points we have the bourbon biscuit okay yep and in second place, yep. we have the chocolate digestive Ooh. with 14. I thought that would, that might. Yeah, yeah. Looking, was, at, looking was... at the plate, that was my favourite to, to go through. So in first place, with a grand total of 17, <sighs> is the custard cream. Ah, we yeah. go. Yeah, it's, it's that vanilla goodness, I think, just topped it off. Plus, it's not messy. It's not, it's quite a self contained, it's quite a petite little beast. Yeah. It kind of Cute. holds together quite well. Um, and the middle melts at the same rate as the outside, which is very important. It still tastes cheese. So I think we're gonna we're gonna go away now and possibly gargle some mouthwash. Eat some more custard creams. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of custard creams. Do you know what I would have liked to have seen in the selection? Maybe for another time. Yeah. Maybe you could let us know in the comments some of the biscuits or non biscuits you'd like us to dunk in our tea. I'd love to have seen a pink wafer. Yeah. You, what? No, a pink wafer I like. I just can't imagine that being very nice in tea. Well, we'll have to find out then, won't yeah. we? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so if you enjoyed what we do, then please make sure to tell your friends so that we can keep on doing this. The more people that see us, the better. That's how the internet works. Until next time, good night, internet. <laughs>